Check, check. <laughs> it has a malt forward. It's more malty than hoppy. Oh my God, look at me, I know what I'm talking about. Yo, welcome to Beards and Bars. Your place for rapid fire hip hop discussion. And of course, great beer. I am Kamal Kiddo. OT to go to child. Thank y'all for checking out last week's episode. We are back with a new one. That was our 50th one last week, right? Yes, 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 yes. Let's get right into our topics. Topic one, um, head to head, common. Common's one day it'll all make sense versus like water for chocolate. Mmm. Girl. Topic two, yeah. most underrated producer, not most popping producer, most underrated producer, high tech, Q-tip, or no ID? Mm. Or are there some others in there? I don't know. Possibly. Um, topic three, best duo on a track, uh, Nas and AZ, most deaf, Talib Kweli, or Ghostface and Ray? Yeah. Let's make sure we preference. This show is for the heads, all right? This for is the hip hop heads. You 90s backpackers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You got your dress done like every five months in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. This, this show, in the ciphers and all this, this show for you, so. True, true. But yeah, we still are at Black Horizon Brewing Company, all right? Uh, let me get where we actually, the address and all that. This is 7560 Quincy Street, I'm sorry, South Quincy Street, Willowbrook, Illinois. Um, Right now, we are drinking their Double Pale Ale. I'm gonna tell you like this. This joint is this nine, 9.1%. Uh, it has a malt forward, mild hops, which is definitely true, okay? Yeah. Most like super, if it's like seven and a half or higher, you know what I'm saying, as far as alcohol volume and whatnot, it's usually yeah. super hoppy. This joint is like straight mild, okay? Um, yeah, it's not I can typical. taste the hop, but it's not yeah, as it's hoppy not as- It's not super hoppy, but yeah, it's still yeah, yeah. like a 9.1. So you drink a couple of these and yeah. it's like, we need an Uber, you know what I mean? Man, I feel pretty nice right <laughs> now. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into our first topic, right? We clinking? Yes. Topic one. Topic one. Head to head, commons, one day it'll all make sense versus like water for chocolate. Yes. Like water for chocolate. Easy money. You're dumb. Uh-huh. You're typical. I'm not typical. All right, so this is what does it for me. I just, it, it maybe it's just because I just feel like on like Water for Chocolate, he kind of evolved a little bit, you know what he, I'm saying? It was the evolution. It yes. was the evolution. Yes. And I just like some of the content more and the production. I don't want to say it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more. Mostly Dilla. Yeah. Mostly Soul Aquarian. It's exactly. Uh, Dilla, Black, I mean, not, not Black Thought, uh, Questlove. Questlove, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That whole group. It's just more jazzy. I, I yes. just like the production more in this joint. Yeah. Um, I like some of the songs better. The other one, one that all makes sense to me is like still like the the battle coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's the battle MC coming. Yeah. So I just like the music and the content more on like Water for Chocolate. That's why I think it's better. Hey man, shout out Jarrell because he and I get into this all the time. Yeah. He was on the show at Bader Brow a couple of episodes ago, a few episodes ago. But um, he always says like water for chocolate for the same reasons you do. You know what I'm saying? He's it smart. is the music. He's such a smart guy. Yeah. It is the music. It is the evolution for Common. It is it's very musical. You know what I'm saying? It's very jazzy, yes. And that's why people like it and I, I get that. Yeah. Common is rapping. On one day at all makes sense. I just, that's the and thing. For, and for a time, for a time, for me, one day at all makes sense. First of all, one day at all makes sense is his best album to me. You know what I'm saying? There were so many, like, over a course, I'm going to say over a span of like four or five years, I would listen to that album and catch something new every yeah. time I oh, heard it. Oh, definitely, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, bro, he's spitting, G. Yeah. He's spitting, G. Yeah. And he don't spit like that anymore. Mm. He don't spit like that no more. I hear you. You are the common guy. I hear you. And, I mean, Common was my favorite rapper at a point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He don't spit like that no more, G. Yeah. It's one day it all makes sense for me, G. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You wrong. Let's go to the second topic, bro. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, topic two. Most underrated producer. High tech, Q-tip, or no ID? Yes. Two minutes. All right. This is a freestyle because I haven't given much thought to this. I know not my a, answer right off the top. Not a whole top. lot of thought. I want to say no ID just because of the whole J album and all that that just yeah. dropped. He's underrated, G. He's um, not respected. He don't get respect like a Dre or a Dilla or, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he don't get, he don't, he don't get the, the props he deserves. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was a, a Def Jam exec at one point. He yeah. might be right now. He is, I think. Yeah. He is. But um, he's, he's, he's produced a lot. You know what I'm saying? He produced... He produced Common's first, I want to say, two albums. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't the only producer, but he was on them joints. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my answer, like, I like high tech, but he's mainly in the Chalib Kweli vein. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. outside of that, that was a good album. They first album together, that was good. Yeah. But outside of that, his solo projects wasn't that good. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But he's a good... He's a good producer. Q-Tip is it for me, though, G. Mm. He's, he not only has produced for Backpackers and has worked with Jay Dilla. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he also produced for Mob Deep, G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he could give you a full album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, he got flavors. Ah, the renaissance, like, I mean, the renaissance from Q-Tip is a good example of not only his flow, but we're not talking about him as a rapper, yeah. as a producer, the renaissance check for it, G. That's one of his best projects, G. I'm, it's either, you see, it's a, to me, Q-tip, it's, to me it's a toss-up before Q-Tip or High Tech. Bruh, that's our time. Because High Let Tech. Let me say this. Let me say this. Go ahead. 2 chains, holler at Q-Tip. To produce his next album, G. Yo, two chains and Q-Tip come together. First of all, on some trap, he said, on some trap Midnight Marauders. That's Bruh. why. That's why. I, and it's not about two chains. That's why I love two chains, Bruh. man. Two people don't give enough credit. But anyway, it, for me, it'd be between High Tech and Q-Tip. I don't know right now because High Tech don't get a lot of um, a lot of. Uh, Respect either. It's like, is he still even working today, G? He produced Calm Down. Boom. Don't, don't. Anderson Pack. That's high tech. Oh. Hey. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it came for. That's high tech. Mm. Talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Most of the stuff on a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff on G. But I'm just saying, a lot of stuff on G in the project. Beg for mercy. A couple of the oh, new yeah, that's right. high tech. That's right. I don't know. But that was. What's our third topic? Yeah. Topic three. Best duo on a track. Yeah. Uh, Nas and A Z. Yes. Most Def and Tom Lib, Kwali, Black Star. Or Ghostface and Raekwon. Yeah. Two minutes. Alright. So of course, uh, I like all three of these people. I really do like all three of them. Or all three of these groups, I should say. Yeah. But for so me, do I. I like Nas and AZ more than any of the others. Just based on like, if I, if, if you on ask On paper, me, yes, they're the best duo, yeah, on you, paper. If you ask me right now, yo, who, these three groups can, are gonna make a song, who you wanna hear, I'm gonna go Nas and AZ. I agree with that, I agree. Life's a bit On fly. paper, it's fly good. is amazing. That is a very and good song. And that's only two songs, and I'm, I know the Purple Tape has a lot of Ghost and Ray, and of course we have a whole collection, or at least an album with Black Star, you know what I'm saying, with Talib and, and Most Def, so. They're all three good, but give me an eyes on AZ all day, man. Dang, G, you had time to think about it, yeah, man. Of course. Because Ghost, Ghost and Ray are all over Purple Tape. That is them, you know what I'm saying? Together. Yeah. Ray only got like one or two songs by himself on that whole joint. Yeah. Like two joints on that whole album. Ooh, that's a hard one now. Now you making it hard for me, see? I shoot with the left hand, like hard. <laughs> now you making it hand. hard for me. Because as much as I love them, as much as 
I love Wu G and I love Cuban Link. And I love Iron Man G. Shout out to Capadonna. But um Iron Man is a lot of Ray too, right? Ray is Ray, yeah. yeah. It features Ray and Capo. Yeah. I'ma go with Black Star G. Because they went in and made an album together and you funny, G. You're funny, G. <laughs> Step back. But uh, but I'm going to still stand strong, G. And I think that they're not the best. Oh, damn, that's time. our time. Yeah. They're not the best duo on a track. I don't know. you making me change my opinion right now. I but accept to do this on the show, yes. I was prepared. I was, I'm going to say this now, G. I mean, let's be real. I was prepared to say most and quality because I like the Black Star album and I like what they what they do together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In future songs though, you know, their 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 songs after Black Star together have been okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, on paper, Naza A Z is the best duo. But they haven't done a lot of songs together. They certainly haven't done an album together like Most and Kuali or Ghost and Ray. Yeah. And the Purple Tape, only built for Cuban links, is a staple in rap. I mean, it's classic. It is, yeah. And that is probably going to be my vote. Because when you put it, you just made me change my mind. Wait, so which, are you you're going with Most Def and Tyler? I'm going, no, no. I'm changing my I'm changing my answer. Okay. And you're making me change it because, first of all, that was the first time that an album featured another artist from a solo artist. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Raekwon. This is Raekwon's only built for Cuban Link, Link, which features Ghostface Killer. Yeah. But he's on most of the tracks. Yeah. He's on more than half of the tracks. Yeah. So with that in mind. It's almost like they made an album together. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, but they made even more songs together on Iron Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's two albums worth of Ghost and Ray G. Yeah. I would have been crazy to even say most in quality in the first place, to be honest. Not really, but they're a they're a good pairing. They're a good pairing. But Ghost and Ray? Bruh. They made classics together. Dude. Black Star or Purple Tape? Purple Tape. That's easy. Okay. Are you insane? That's, that's easy. a good album, though. But yeah, I, I, that's a that's a good album. Bruh, Ghost and Ray. Yeah. I hear you. Vision bars, man. We out. We'll see y'all next time. Black Horizon Brewing Company. Peace.